Thank you. <coughs> so, Randeep, um, I think let's first start with it's uh, almost become um, just over a year of extraction. Um, again, yeah. that movie released in the, the first lockdown last year. I mean, you received such a phenomenal response uh, for that movie, and I think you still are. It's still going. Yeah, it's still going. I'm very grateful that, you know, uh, I deep down every artist's desire is to reach out to as many people as possible. And with that movie, especially releasing at that time, it reached out to more people than we could have imagined. And uh, that was a big boost. And, you know, to have people from all kinds of nationalities write in, you know, social media and this and that, of how much your work is being appreciated was a real shot in the arm and a real booster at that time. And also all the interviews kept you busy and your mind off, uh, you know, the morose situation around. Now this time around, again, we're facing a very serious situation. The, the, uh, the virus has mutated and it's more infectious and fatal now. And, you know, it's widespread. Uh, mm -hmm. In the first wave, we thought we had conquered it, but now it's, the second wave it's it's just really overburdened us and mm. we're trying to fight back as much as we can and in this moment like last time if you're able to take people's mind off the calamity around us even if it's for two hours and entertain them and, and you know make them feel good uh, like we did with extraction i think that's what i'm hoping with rade this time around as well yeah so, yeah so i've become like the pandemic hero <laughs> <laughs> for sure now uh Rindeep, i mean this movie like you said taking our mind off things this is the first big movie that is releasing in cinemas in the uk so that's quite a big deal we haven't had a movie release here for over a year uh so that feeling for us and uh you know going back to the cinema it's quite exciting uh how are you feeling about that envious <laughs> because I will not be able to go see it in a cinema. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's a Salman Khan film and uh, uh, I have seen videos and I went once, but you know, one gets just trampled and mobbed. Uh, but uh, the response that, you know, especially in the single screen theaters, the traditional mm. theaters, where mm. people are throwing coins on the screen and the people dancing in the aisles, you can't hear any single word. <laughs> that's being said and so that kind of a frenzy that happens with these big tickets especially Salman Khan films is something that we are all missing here and I'm really envious mm -hmm. that people are going to the cinemas you know uh, this the cinematic experience is not complete unless it's in a darkened theater with other people and their energies infecting each other and the collective response that one gets uh, as an audience and as well as you know if you're Privy to people watching it as an artist, that's unmatchable. And I'm mm. really envious you guys are doing going ahead with it. If the theaters have opened, obviously they must be safe as long as you mm. follow the protocols. Mm -hmm. So I'm envious, man. <laughs> well, we'll be sending you videos from here on, on social media. I'm sure you'll be getting lots of them uh, for sure. Now, tell us a little bit about the character that you play in the film, Radhe. Well, he's evil. Uh, remorseless, ruthless, and <clears throat> it's not really a character study character, it's just a broad stroke, evil character, because it's a Salman Khan film and most of his films, the energy is driven into making his character or his persona larger than life. So this character serves an antithesis to that. And then of course, good overcomes evil and everybody's happy and that's mm -hmm. It is good versus evil, and I play the evil part. I mean, there was not much, you know, mental preparation that went into it as compared to other movies that I've been fortunate mm -hmm. enough to be a part of. This mm -hmm. was just turn up on a, in a good mood, get your gear on, and uh, let's have fun. And I mean, your role selection over the last few years has been quite varied. How how do you select these roles? Um, you know, you go from like a set of Jeep to uh, a suitable boy to to now a Radhe. I mean, uh, how does that selection work for you? Well, suitable boy and to a large extent Radhe as well. Suitable boy, I just have a couple of scenes in it, and Mira really wanted me to play it, so that was that that I did for Mira. Uh, 
Um, um, Radhe Salman has been wanting me to play a villain for a while in his movies, so and he really wanted me to be a part of it. So this came about like on those lines, and I'd never really done this evil kind of you know larger than life uh, uh, you know marauding villain. So that was exciting. So I picked that up. In other movies, you know, the story has to be worth telling to some extent. There's something about it that I would want to be a part of saying the story. And then, of course, uh, am I getting the opportunity to do something new, to stretch myself uh, and uh, experience new things? And uh, my desire to keep working with varied people varied genres and, uh, you know, even industries, Bollywood, Hollywood, or Canada, or wherever. So that kind of lends itself to the roles being varied because you're working with other people's energy. I don't go and stamp my, uh, my identity on them. I take their identity and that's where the variation is created. And in terms of it being, you know, released on digital, I think whether this question is whether if it's like, it doesn't matter if it was like pre-COVID or post-COVID, but um, films releasing digitally, um, does that make a difference to you, whether it's on a big screen or if it's on an OTT platform? In terms of the experience for the audience, yes, of course it does. Mm -hmm. uh, but as we lock down, uh, OTT, even in India has, you know, people have watched content from all across the world in all languages 24-7. Uh, so their choices have been varied in, in India, especially they have been privy to a lot of more realistic storytelling, uh, more compelling themes, which yeah. our commercial cinema does not explore. Mm -hmm. So I feel that the growth of the audience worldwide, but more so in India, which was going to happen in the next eight to ten years has happened in a few months because as the industry grows the audience grows with every film as well so i think we will find a hard time catching up to those sensibilities if we are not proactive enough mm -hmm. and a final message to the uk audience who are going to go and watch this in cinemas this week it is a big cinematic experience go enjoy it uh, for what it is a salman khan big you know, Eid blockbuster film that's coming along and I'm also a part of it. And I hope we can engage you for two hours and uh, take your mind off all the things that have been happening the past year. And uh, yeah, and I'm envious. <laughs> Thanks so much, Randeep. All the best for the movie and all the best for all your future projects. Uh, yes, we'll thank you very hopefully much. see you soon. Take care. Yeah, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.